Yeah, my name is Jackie Ramakwera, and um, I'm from Sage. And um, in the pictures there, it's me and my partner. And um, <laughs> I'm really nervous, guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, my partner is Toko Zikali. And um, yeah, she cannot make it um, in front of you guys. But um, I'll do my best to to say her part, what I because I already know what she wanted to say. I think you can um, just to give you a bit of um, background of um, the school that Toko works with. She's a principal of a high school, the only high school in our in our group, and um, it's fairly a new school, starting in 2011 with um, 36 educators. And um, what I can personally tell you is she's a hands-on leader. I mean, she's a teacher when it needs to be. I've seen her as a teacher. I've seen her standing in. I've, I've seen the students coming directly to her and not the SMT, not the teachers. I've seen her, you know, in action. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm proud to be um, her partner. And, um, and what I can also say on her behalf is there was lots of personal growth um, in, in this journey. She really, really appreciates um, other people's point of view and just um, seeing how other partnerships grow. We always go back and we discuss and like, did you see so and so? Did you see, <laughs> you know, how they relate? And we, we try to, to improve our relationship. And um, a bit about myself is, um, yeah, I work for Sage, one of the greatest companies to work for. And <laughs> but um, to be honest, um, PFP has really enabled us to 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 do what we 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 love to do, which is to work with people. I mean, we we have charity committees at our company, but um, the mandate there is you have to be with the people. You can't just send money, send you know, groceries and so on. They want us actively involved and PFP allowed us to, to be able to do that. And um, my personal passion is you know, working with the youth and watching them grow and be successful and just guiding them. Um, a bit about the school. Um, their motto is Hlosa Ungobe. Did I say it right? <laughs> but um, it means um, aim to succeed. And they do just that. I am not kidding you guys. These guys want to be the best in everything. Their results are amazing. We'll get to that. And um, I think the next slides will tell you exactly that. They aim to succeed. This is a picture of generally what the school looks like from all angles. They are based in containers, and these containers are no reflection of, you know, the results and achievement that the schools have, you know, in the school. I mean, the government is yet to build a proper school. They're waiting for that. But in the meantime, I say they have the best-looking school ever. It's the neatest school ever. You will not see a piece of paper anywhere. And must I tell you, the students are responsible for this, by the way. So no, nobody um, is an official cleaner who picks up after them. They clean their own containers. They wash them white. And it's amazing what happens in the school. And it's also a reflection on my partner because um, she's very precise in what she wants and all aspects of, of the school are taken care of. I'm very impressed when I always go to that school. Um, yeah, my first time I went to the school was when the matriculants were preparing for, no, it was after they finished writing the exams. And through their own initiatives, they wanted to pray for their results and, you know, do a proper farewell. So I was a part of that. And that picture there, um, I said my two cents worth, but they had their own motivational speakers, they were motivating each other, they were pledging to help each other if they don't, um, if there's any one of them who doesn't pass well. And um, you can see at the bottom there, they even have a resident, you know, pastor in, in grade 12. And 
I was so impressed, but then I thought, maybe that's just that class, because it had a pasta. But no, it's the same this year as well. That's just a reflection of what the school is all about. But anyway, just um, one of the challenges that the school really had is to maintain the great results that they have. So they don't just want the students to pass, they want quality results. And we thought we can come in and um, make sure that none of the, the learners are, you know, are falling off the track or giving up or you know, if anyone needs assistance, we were there. So we rallied some SAGE employees to go there and motivate, mentor the kids. This wasn't a once-off. These are just some of the pictures from several events where we visited them, we had motivational talks, we focused on... Um, Jeez. <laughs> okay. Um, this year, it's a, it's a different group of learners, so we're not just focusing on the grade 12. The other concern of the school was that they needed the, um, the prefects, what they call the LRC, to be more, um, more present. They need to have more visibility, and we thought we can intervene as well. We did several workshops with them, and I'm going to just spend some time explaining this. You can click to the next um, slide. So what we did is we visited the prefects as um, SAGE employees, and we did a whole series of things. We, we, we taught the learners about leadership. We, we explained to them the different leadership styles, and we, we gave them examples of schools that are running so well. And at the end, it was the students who identified the problems that they had in the school. And then we just asked them, then what are you going to do about it? So it was amazing, amazing what came out of that because, as you can see, the one student standing there, she was giving us a report of what she has done. Because once you identify a problem as a prefect, you must come up with a solution. But we also guided them into coming up with realistic, sustainable solutions. I mean... Um, uh, this is a great example there. If you can just go one slide back. <laughs> um, that was a newspaper article of one of the students who was concerned about um, collecting uh, students who don't have sanitary towels, who don't come to school because of that. And she actually came up with an initi initiative where a couple of them go into the community and on a monthly basis they sort of have contracts with the community people to, to go and collect, you know, one packet of pads from each household um, on a monthly basis. So they ended up having quite a good supply um, that was more than enough for, for the year. Um, another one of our initiatives was we had sort of a winter school at SAGE where we brought in grade 12, uh, grade 10 learners because we intend to have like a journey with them going forward. Grade 11, we'll still see them. They did computer classes and um, Excel training, how to write a CV, how to speak well, how to present. It was a one week long during their Ju July holidays. Um, this was one of uh, a, a valediction ceremony. It was a, a goodbye ceremony for the matriculants, but it was just before they, they, they wrote their exams. So in, here we were awarding the best learners, um, the best improved. We also awarded the teachers as well at this event. Parents were also present, so they can see, you know, the good that they, they, the kids are doing. And on this day, the students also did a pledge, you know, to to pass their metric um, exams very well and, you know, to behave themselves during grade 12. It was a beautiful day where all the stakeholders were present at the school, and you can see it, it was quite well planned and it looks. Very Oh, that's a picture from one of our SMT meetings. Um, I think just click towards the end. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, but in a nutshell, I'm not even going to look at the slides anymore. <laughs> in a nutshell, really, it was a great journey. I'm so thankful. I mean, I've grown as a person through this. I've grown just by viewing other people, um, how they interact, their um, journeys as well. I've learned from her, I've learned from the training, I've made friends. Um, my partner and I, we totally inseparable now. So I just want to say thank you, PFP, and thank you, everyone in my group, for your support. I hope you do better. <laughs>